Hey there, today we're out in the field. Um, I've been working on getting my weather station uh, back on the internet. Um, as you can see, kind of behind me here on the, the center pivot sprinkler, that gray box in there is where I have the uh, display for my weather station. And the one is out there on that post. Oops. There it is. So, what I'm doing is um, to get the weather out here in the middle of the field onto the internet so I can see what it's doing whenever I want. Um, is I basically have the weather station out there, and then inside this box right here, I have the the display. It's just a, a home. I think it's an ambient weather. Osprey is the, the brand or uh, in model. Two nine zero two, I think. Check. But what I used to do is I just had a a mobile hotspot inside this box that would then connect wirelessly to the display. Uh, but that was pretty uh, unreliable. We'll call it that. So let me see. Unfortunately, I don't have it secured at the moment. Okay. All right. So here's what it what it looks like inside the box. So you can see here, I just have my, my standard display. Before I was using this, I don't know, Netgear or something wireless uh, mobile hotspot, but that wasn't working very well. So it was very unreliable, and I think this thing was just not. Neither of these things are really designed to be inside of a inside of a box, but this the display seems much more forgiving than the wireless. So let me get this thing close back up. So yeah, this, I guess real quick, this thing, this black display has a uh, wireless chip inside of it that was connecting with this, uh, with this guy up here wirelessly. And so what I've now done is made that more, more reliable. So how I've made that more reliable is up there, let's go up there on top of the pivot I have for the moment it's kind of uh, uh, temporarily mounted I need to do something a little better but up here I have a TP-Link uh, wireless client I think it's CPE 210 Ferros see it there Anyways, if you look, well, if you look over to the house about, oh, I don't know, it's probably under a half a mile. But over on the house over there, I don't know if we'll be able to see it, even zoomed in, is another one of these things. One of these TP-Link guys. And so, what it's doing is, from the, the home internet in the house, it is transmitting the internet way up to that little guy. And then this little guy is then um, transmitting it down to switch over here. For now, temporarily, that links this uh, wireless router. And then the wireless router is connected direct uh, wire, wirelessly, not directly, wirelessly connected to the weather station in there. So that's kind of the setup and how I'm getting internet from the house, uh, probably you know close to a half a mile away. And eh, maybe it's not a half a mile. Maybe it's more like a quarter mile. Let's call it three eighths. Um, so yeah, this will be fun. I don't. I don't think. Of course, I'll. 
I'll leave it with that thing sitting out in the open. I'll probably end up getting some sort of outdoor rated um, wireless access point to plug into the, the TP-Link box up there. So that is my setup and I'm going to have it, you know, basically connected to the the weather station here. I've got it on Wonderground and so that way I'll be able to pretty easily monitor how reliable it is because on on Weather Underground it will graph and track all of the all the data and you can easily tell when when something went down. It doesn't give you a um, it doesn't give you a reason why it went down, of course, but if anything goes down, then it's a, a weakness in the system. So hopefully we'll get her get her qualified and get this stuff mounted up a little bit better. But I think I'll probably leave it up here for at least at least until it's supposed to rain. <laughs> so that's a couple of days out, I think. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy seeing what I'm doing out here on the farm, uh, whether it's farming or house building or electrical work, networking, I don't know, anything, Arduino stuff, I'm, I do a little bit of everything. But anyways, if you enjoy all that, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, thumbs up, and uh, comment if you have any questions or thoughts. Have a great day. Take care.